Hey everyone, it is June and the big national holiday, if you live in the United States, in June is Father's Day. And every year, I think, I try to come up with some gift ideas for you, really for me. I'm thinking for myself, but I'm sharing them with you. Gift ideas for Father's Day for the men in your life. This could be applicable to graduation gifts, birthday gifts, but obviously since we're in June, it's Father's Day. And I just want to take a moment to acknowledge that this year is on June 21st. And in my house, it's a big day because June 21st is our wedding anniversary. And this year will be 23. And it is also Shane's birthday. And this year it'll be 19. And it's Father's Day. So it's like the perfect storm or trifecta or whatever. So big day at our house. So we got to get some gifts in mind. I should say that every year this is a struggle for me. I don't know what it is about shopping for men. I just find them very difficult to shop for. I feel like everything they want is very personal as far as they're gonna have a personal choice and certain criteria that they're putting into their thought process that I have no idea. But I will do my best and all of it will be listed in the description box below. Links where applicable, some of these won't have links. And if you're actually interested in anything I have on from here up, that will be at the very bottom of the description box. All right, I have typed out some ideas for you. Let's get started. Okay, um, in my house, my husband is the dad, and he has a new, not new, I should say, he has quite a collection of odd kitchen gadget appliances. Some things have never seen the light of day since he bought them, like a hand um, pasta maker, like not an electric one, still in the box in the cabinet over our refrigerator. But he has gotten into cooking, probably because he's doing the Faster Way program with me, so we're really into food prep and all that stuff, which is fun to do together, I have to say. That aside, he's into the kitchen gadgets. And the ones he has been personally using a lot and told me would make great gifts for other people are the Rapid Egg Cooker that you've heard me talk about forever. We used to use it primarily to make poached eggs, but we're eating a lot of hard-boiled eggs now, and it is so, so incredibly easy and quick to use those. So recommend that for a Father's Day gift, birthday gift, graduation gift for someone who's moving into their own apartment for the first time would be a great gift. Also, the omelet maker that we purchased, actually for Shane, who's big into omelets now, it makes it so that you don't have to worry about how to flip it to make the perfect omelet. You can have it just egg, you can add toppings or other ingredients. Super user-friendly, easy to clean up. The latest gadget that Michael is interested in that Okay, he's not in earshot, that will probably end up being his Father's Day gift is this new, at least to him, that he mentioned, um, indoor electric searing grill. It sits on your countertop, it has nonstick plates, it's not a George Foreman, but I guess the concept is the same, except that it sears, it doesn't just cook the meat, it sears it and gives it those grill marks, and it has amazing reviews on Amazon, so it's sitting in my Amazon cart. On the a lower scale, as far as appliances go, I'm a big fan of my coffee mug warmer that I keep on my nightstand and at my desk, but I understand that the aesthetic might not appeal to a man. And I was cruising through Nordstrom's website, as I do almost daily, it's not healthy, and I saw this electric, it's, how do I describe it? It's a coffee mug and warmer set. It's a ceramic mug. It comes in a variety of colors. Obviously, the black one is very masculine. There's a whitish cream, and then there's a few other shades. But it's ceramic, but it has some kind of metal inside it. You set it on the matching warmer, which is very modern and clean-lined sort of vibe, and it heats up the liquid inside your mug to about 135 degrees and keeps it at 135 degrees. What I like very much about this concept, I can't personally say if it's good or bad, I haven't used it, but I'm intrigued by it, is that this one, other unlike other similar mugs, is dishwasher safe. So you don't have to hand wash it every single morning, which is not a big deal, obviously. But if you want to throw it in the dishwasher, you can. Not the warmer part, but the mug. So I think it's pretty cool. Again, a great gift for anyone, man or woman, for any holiday, but specifically, we're talking about Father's Day, I need to stop saying that, you obviously know. Let's stick on the topic of food and kitchens and things like that. Most men I know are into these food of the month subscription type things, whether it's meat, <laughs> sounds so weird, but like your monthly meat box of various steaks, cuts of meat, steaks, whatever, you guys love that. 
if you're a big fan of Chicago style food, like I am, there is, I think it's Taste of Chicago or something like that, I'll put the link below, where you can get different kinds of subscriptions to Chicago style foods like Lou Malnati's deep dish pizza, hot dogs, Vienna hot dogs, Italian beef, that kind of stuff. If you want to go old school, Harry and David has some really cool stuff that's mostly fruit and candy. There's wine subscriptions, there's beer subscriptions, barbecue, you know, all those kind of monthly or quarterly type subscriptions. Those are really fun. And when you're kind of not sure what to get, it's kind of a gift that keeps on going for a little while. So I think those can be a lot of fun. The last sort of food related item that I'd like to recommend is a Yeti cooler. Anything from the Yeti universe will be appreciated by pretty much anyone. I'm partial to Yeti. They're headquartered just up the road from me in Austin. I've talked about it before, but if you've missed my glowing, I guess, recommendation for Yeti coolers, they're sort of miracle workers. I don't understand the magic that is inside one of these things, but years ago we hosted a party at our home, for an after party for homecoming. One of the dads dropped off a cooler full of ice at, I don't know, in the morning, the day of the party. The party itself wasn't even supposed to start until midnight. That was on a Saturday, Sunday night when he came to pick up the cooler, the ice was still frozen solid. And the cooler had sat outside all, after, all weekend in 90 something degree heat. I don't know what's in those things. You can go crazy and spend hundreds of dollars for a really big one. They have smaller ones that are more almost like giant lunch pail bucket. You know, they're, they're soft sided. They have obviously the cups, the mugs and all that stuff, but no one is going to say no to a gift that includes Yeti. And then obviously I think men, maybe more than any other group, making some assumptions there, but men seem to have their hobbies more so than other people I know. Like most men I know have like this, their thing, right? So in Michael's case, he has a couple things. Golf would probably be his biggest thing. And it's hard for me to buy him a golf specific item because he knows exactly what he wants and he's so into it and I don't have a clue. So gift certificates are always nice. It'd be nicer if the person who's receiving the gift would once in a while give us a list of things they want so we know what to get. His other big thing is playing the guitar and any kind of musical stuff that goes with that. Again, I don't know what kind of guitar he wants. I mean, they're so specific to individual tastes and things. So a gift certificate to a music shop, or I know that he wants some editing softwares, or not editing, that's my world, mixing software so he can mix tracks and stuff. Um, so maybe a gift certificate to the Apple store. Just there's so many things depending on what their hobby is. I My brother-in-law is now into bird watching, so maybe some binoculars or field guides. I don't, I don't really know. Bird watching sounds kind of cool. Um, obviously we know lots of guys that love collecting sports memorabilia or um, enjoy cigars or fine wines or other kinds of alcohol like scotch or beer. So if you know your loved one is into a particular very specific hobby, a gift certificate to a store they love to patronize would I'm sure be well appreciated. Back to the music concept, I think everybody enjoys music. The genre is gonna differ from person to person, but most people enjoy music or listening to talk radio, something with their ears. So headphones, an upgrade to their headphones are always appreciated. I myself got a new pair of headphones for Mother's Day. I'm loving those AirPod Pros, by the way. They're awesome. But you know, want to go more old school, over the ear kind of thing, but maybe keep it wireless. Maybe dad or husband or whomever has a really old pair and you want to upgrade what they have, or maybe they have one, but they love being outside doing chores or gardening or whatever. Get them a portable Bluetooth speaker. I think those are just things that are handy and nice to have, whether they use them every day or once in a while, it would be appreciated. This kind of goes with hobbies, but Graphic Image, which is the parent company of GG New York, if you did not know that, that's why it's GG, because it's Graphic Image, it's G-I, and then G-I-G-I, -G -I, meaning like G-I-2, like the little, anyway, whatever. Graphic Image makes some really cool leather goods, and yes, wallets and things like that are always great to give a guy, but what I really love about Graphic Image, and I've given Michael a few of these as gifts, is they have really beautiful leather-bound books that are specific to his interests. Like they have a bunch of books on golf from famous authors having to do with golf, golf guides, football stuff. There's all kinds of different choices as far as their leather bound books. They even have, I think, kids books. So there's a huge range. But if you wanna give him like an elevated copy of a book that he already has and loves, a leather bound edition is pretty cool. Another suggestion, Michael's always talked about getting this. We've never ordered one, I don't know why, but you know those really cool 
maps that you can hang on a wall that you can either pinpoint every golf course that you've played or every place that you've traveled or whatever it is that you collect or travel to that you have a way of marking it on the map. I don't know why we've never pulled the trigger on that. That could be another one. Anyway, those are really neat if they have their own office space or study in the home or just a little corner of their man cave. I think it's a really beautiful gift and I put it on my list. The last two gifts, totally cliche, but they're cliche for a reason, they're good. I don't know too many guys that like to go clothing shopping for themselves or they'll put themselves last, like, no, don't worry about me, I'm good, get stuff for the kids or get stuff for you, I'm good with my 70 year old underwear and jeans that have holes in it. A lot of dads that I know in our area, it's just not their priority, but I know that they all love receiving gifts of clothing. One, because then that's one less thing they have to go figure out and buy for themselves, but also, they would never buy something nice for themselves. I am generalizing, but most of the men I know don't think twice about buying something nice in a clothing category for their kids or their significant others, but would never do it for themselves. So now is the time to add to the man in your life's wardrobe, whether it's something from Johnson Murphy or, or Nordstrom, even Amazon, their Good Threads line of clothing, they have it for men and women. It's beautiful clothes. They're very reasonably priced, and Michael has a, a lot. He has a lot of their short sleeve button down shirts. They're great. So you know you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on a nice, on something that's nice. The, that particular line is fabulous. I'll list below a few of um, the favorite pieces from Good Threads in our house. All three of the boys in my house, boys and men. I guess they're all men now. They have a lot from there, so I'll put some of my favorites in the description box. And then the very last suggestion. It's actually a whole bunch of things. It's a little bit cliche to think about men's fragrance around Father's Day, but it's a cliche for a reason, much like many of the other gifts I've already mentioned. House of Siage, who I've talked about before, was really sweet and sent me a few things that I thought might make really good gifts for Father's Day or a graduation present, to be honest, because these are for a, for a man, young man, boy, I don't know. My son is a graduate. I think of him as a boy. He's 20, almost 22 years old. Clearly he's a man, but he's my baby, so anyway. So the first thing um, is actually something that I'm going to give to him to put in his apartment when he leaves us to go to law school, and um, it's a candle. And I know most people don't think about giving candles to men, but there are two scents. Let me unbox one of these so that you can see from the House of Siage, and one is called Endless Tropics. Let me show you the bottle. It's just very clean lined, very simple looking. It can go with anything. You don't even have to like this. It smells incredible. I think this is the most masculine of the two fragrances. They describe this as endless sun-soaked palm leaves drenched in tropical bliss are infused with the essence of amber, dark musk, and a hint of teakwood and peppercorn. And it's soy-based for a clean burn. Um, I don't get any tropic out of this. I just get all those other scents I just described. Really masculine, really cool, definitely my favorite. If you love like those warm amber scents but like a little bit spicy and you want a masculine version, this is fabulous. The other one is by the Lagoon. And this one I would say, it looks the same, I'm not gonna open it, is a little more gender neutral if you wanna go that direction. And this one is described as, well, floral aromatic notes of sea musk, golden sand, almond flour, and dewy fig fill the air. Also soy based for a clean burn. The scents on these things are so strong, I can smell them through the box. This would be, I my particular recommendation uh, for Father's Day or a band's graduation gift would be the Endless Tropics one. It will make their living area smell so nice without being overpowering. I can't even imagine what it would smell like if you burn it. So there you go. But then they also have, this thing is huge. Okay, here's the box. It comes like this. This is a presentation all by itself. This is their Father's Day gift box. There are different scents that you can choose from. Let me open this thing. Inside are a number of things. First, and I don't want to unwrap this, is the House of Siage Mink Throw. It's so, I mean, it's not over overly heavy, so you could even get under this now while you're watching a movie or whatever. And gray is just, well, I know in my family, all the boys like gray. Each of these boxes, there's different options on their website. I got the number one fragrance. So it includes the HOS, which is House of Siage, number 001. This is the box. I mean, it's it's got some weight to it. It's beautiful. This is actually a perfume, or parfum, not a cologne. So it's very concentrated. The scent is 
incredible. Look how cool this is. So you, there is a little button here. You push it and now you can push down on the spritzer part. I'm sure there's a more technical term than spritzer, but there you go. Oh, this is decadent and luscious and very professional. It wouldn't be out of place in any kind of conservative office setting. It's very masculine. It's a really nice gift. This one is on the expensive side. You get this, which is two and a half milliliters. You get the throw, and I think this is so cool. You get this travel discovery set. So if the recipient would prefer a different scent to order at a future date or to drop hints at you that you would that they would like you to buy it for them, it comes with all of these smaller atomizers so that they can sample some more of their signature scents from the House of Siage. Quite the presentation there. Well, that does it for me. At least I hope this got you started, got you thinking about some ideas. You have a, a little bit of time. Don't forget, shipping is a little slower these days than it used to be, so make sure you give yourself some time to get these items to the recipient or to your home to give to them. This is just the beginning of the conversation. Please, in the comments below, if you have any ideas that would make great Father's Day gifts or just gifts in general for men, put those down below. I will put at the end of the video the playlist with holiday gift ideas in general for men because hopefully there's, I, I think, I hope there's other people out there that have the same problem as I do coming up with gift ideas for men. So hopefully this is helpful. Can't wait to see your suggestions. As always, thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me today. I hope you're all well and staying safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.